Hey YouTube, welcome back to my kitchen. Today we're gonna to be making one of my favorite breakfasts, bagels. We're gonna need two teaspoons of active dry yeast, four and a half teaspoons granulated sugar, one and a quarter cups warm water, and we're gonna divide that, three and a half cups of bread flour or high gluten fl flour for that crusty outside, one and a half teaspoons of salt, and I'm gonna to top some of my bagels with this everything bagel seasoning. Old Faithful, my stand mixer, will be helping me out today as well. We're going to start by mixing our dry ingredients. We'll get the three and a half cups of flour in here and our salt. Mix that real quick and then I'm going to make a well in the flour to dump my wet ingredients. Then I'll get that going and my half a cup of warm water, I'll add my sugar and then my yeast. Make sure it's warm but not hot water. Let that sit for five minutes until it starts bubbling and then we're gonna mix that until it's dissolved and add that to the well in our flour. And we'll start mixing this on low and you can gradually increase it at your discretion. This is only half of that cup of water, so we're going to gradually add in enough warm water to where our dough ball comes together and is smooth and elastic. At this point, my dough mixture is starting to come up over my mixing hook, so I'm just pushing that down to get a little bit of a better mixture. And it's getting pretty close. It's a little dry, so I'll add a little bit more water, and then I'm gonna hand knead the rest of the way until I'm satisfied with the texture. This is gonna be a very dense dough ball. Get that nice and formed into a ball. Then we're gonna oil the dough and bowl so that it doesn't stick while we let it rise. And finally, we'll cover it with a towel and let this rise in a warm place for about an hour. After the hour is up, you're gonna punch down the dough, let it rest for about 10 minutes, and then we'll divide it. All right, the hour is up and so is my 10 minute rest period. So I'm gonna sprinkle flour on my dough just so things don't stick to it and again I'm gonna use my bench scraper to divide my dough into eight equal pieces or as equal as I can get them And once we've got our eight pieces, we're going to shape each one into a ball. And once we've got all eight dough balls made, we're just going to give them a light press to flatten them slightly and then we will poke a hole in the middle and form our bagel. At 
The bagels look pretty small at this stage, but they will rise again and they will also expand during the cooking process. While the bagels rest another 10 minutes, we're gonna preheat our oven to 425. And we're gonna start a pot of water to boil. Once we got a nice rolling boil, we're gonna drop our bagels. The recipe recommends to use a slotted spoon or something to gently dunk the bagels in, but I'm just carefully dropping them in by hand. And I'm gonna season these when they come out, as soon as they are out. So I'll get this ready over by where I'll put the bagels. They're gonna boil for one to two minutes on each side. I like mine a little chewier, so I'm gonna do two minutes per side, but if you want them a little bit softer, one minute per side is fine. After our boil time is up, we'll take them out and put them on our cookie sheet. And if you're gonna to top them, now is the time to do that. Pretty good look and even unbaked. Next I'll boil the bagels that I'm gonna keep plain. Once all the bagels are broiled, pop them in that 425 degree oven for about 20 minutes. And here we are, they look so amazing. Thanks for watching guys!